Hey guys, guys Lance here. It's been a while since I've made a video, and uh, not, not too long ago, ago my wife was helping me make a video uh, regarding uh, facial recognition and logging into Windows, Windows. and uh, the second time we tried to make the video after a Windows update, I noticed no longer could I use biometrics, and which was odd because I went through the Windows Hello setup multiple times and couldn't quite figure it out. Then it turns out, in that creator's update, sure enough, a lot of things have changed, including the biometrics. So, after investigating, obviously, as you guys remember in earlier versions of Windows or, you know, Pro versions, you have the group policy editor, and sure enough, what do you know? Well, Windows didn't have that anymore. That was uh, something for me to go in there and change the group policies. Nonetheless, after some research and whatnot, I found out a way that you can take this bat file and basically go and enable it. So what I'm going to do right now is show you what the code looks like in this. So just for fun, I put in this echo, hello, welcome, because uh, you are reviewing this here, so I just thought for fun I'll put that in there. But if you look at this, um, you're going to see basically how this actually works. So it's going in here and basically enabling these extensions um, and uh, basically giving you now the ability to have the group uh, policy editor, which is important for our next step. Because if you have biometrics and you want to log in or you want to enable like anti-spoofing, which is in Windows, you know, oddly enough, it's not always enabled or enabled by default in general. Um, so this is something you should definitely want, especially if you're using biometrics and facial recognition. Why would you not, at least by default, want that enabled, right? You would think you want the ability to prevent anti-spoofing. Why? Because then that means I could take something like a picture, put it up on your face, or my face in this case, and probably have a successful login. As we've seen videos in the past on different places, people do this and often. Uh, you know, and this is why a lot of times facial recognition doesn't work out, right? So, so, anyways, real quick, quick let's go ahead and go ahead and enable this and see how uh, you would uh, basically run this on your own so that you also can have the group policy uh, editor without going and getting like the pro version and whatnot. Now, my Alienware did not come with a uh, professional version. It came with a home edition. And for the price of these Alienwares, you'd think you'd get like the highest version of Windows, right? Well, no. no. And I normally would probably overwrite Windows and not be running it as a default OS on my computer. I would normally be running something like Elementary OS or uh, Mint Linux, but because I'm doing Android development and other things on Windows that I need Windows, um, I'm just running Linux in a virtual box. Now you might say, why not run Linux and then Windows on a virtual box? Yeah, I could. Um, but then I'd have to have a Windows OS uh, USB stick in. I haven't gotten to that yet. So anyways, instead of my uh, problems, let's go ahead and try and uh, jump on this and get this to work. So, because this requires administrative privileges, so if you're trying to do this at school or work, it's probably not going to work. But, if you're at home and you're on your own computer, this is how you can do it. So, again, this bat file that we have, we're going to go ahead and click Run as Administrator. Go ahead and give it the privileges that it needs, and you'll be seeing here that it's going and running this process, right? So, as you see, it's gone ahead and done everything that needed to be done using the administration management tool. And so, after that's been completed, great. Now, you'll also notice on your desktop uh, that there's a new file there. It's called list. Now, you can remove it whenever you want. But if we go in here, as you see, this is basically the package that were performed and uh, done, right? So, again, we don't need these anymore, so we can go ahead and wipe them. So, now we should have the option to do group edit. There we go. And what do you know? Now we have our local group uh, policy editor, right? So, the uh, biometrics is hiding, right? So, we need to go to administrative templates, go into the Windows components, and what do you know? Biometrics. So, now I've already enabled this, so this is not done by default. So, so, as you see, it says a lot of the use of biometrics, you would just click on here. Now, normally it would say either not configured or disabled. So, you would just go ahead and hit enable and apply, or OK, either one, doesn't matter. Um, and do the same thing for allow users to log on using biometrics. Now, that's important to me because I'm using biometrics to log in usually on my machine, whether it's fingerprint reader and uh, other things as well, retina scanner, whatever you want. Um, you know. 
play around using the Raspberry Pi, different things that you may or may not use. Now, if you have a home network and you have that set up, you know, obviously you can allow domain users uh, to log on using biometrics. You can enable that and whatnot. And also specify the timeout for fast user uh, switching events. Uh, you don't necessarily need to enable that, but if you want, you can. Uh, it's usually active for about 10 seconds before becoming inactive. Um, but the most important thing for me in this case was spatial features, right? So if you go in here, configure enhanced anti spoofing. Now, of course, you would enable this, right? Um, and I believe it was not configured, not disabled, but not configured on this one. Uh, which, which is just, just as good as not being uh, enabled in my point of view. But um, yeah, yeah, as it states here, and let's read this together, uh, Windows Hello Face Authentication. This is uh, uh, obviously something you would desire, right? Because you want to log into your Windows computer and you don't want somebody to you know, be able to spoof you. So you know, having something that's enhanced, you know, meaning better, why would you not want that enabled by default? Now, I did, so I have. Because again, I don't want somebody to be able to find a tactic of taking my face, putting it on a, a mannequin head or whatever, or you know, who knows what. Maybe they figured a way to make an app and you know, put it there and have it rotate and whatnot. Who knows? And I don't know exactly how this anti-spoofing, enhanced anti-spoofing works. Maybe it looks for blood in the face or somehow can tell your pulse. I don't know. Probably not. Let's be honest. But nonetheless. Enable it. There's no reason not to have an uh, anti-spoofing. You would do everything you want, or I mean, everything you could, rather, uh, to prevent someone from getting in your computer, which is why you're using facial recognition, unless you're lazy, that's one thing. But, I mean, of course, if you can, you would, right? So, anyways, that's how you get the local group policy editor back, and that's how you go and enable biometrics again, and get, uh, you know, the ability to have uh, your uh, facial recognition using Windows Hello again um, after, I guess it was the creator's update that did this to me. But uh, nonetheless, guys, hopefully this video was useful for you. And uh, if it was, um, hopefully you'll like, subscribe, or, you know, just enjoy uh, the video in general. Hopefully it was useful for you guys. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in any other videos like this or what kind of videos you guys may be looking for. I know you guys were not into the video game videos. Got it, understood that. So uh, yeah, let me know what you're interested in. Um, and I have an Android video that's coming out soon about how to do uh, multi-dimensional arrays uh, with JSON. So yeah, we'll see. Anyways guys, uh, have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever it is for you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.